Hi, this is Trudy from Howard Tax Prep, LLC. We are located in the South Loop of Chicago, Illinois, and we focus on small business owners, truck drivers, small restaurant owners, real estate agents, and home-based businesses, and those with home-based businesses. You can reach us at howardtaxprep.com, click on contact us and send us a message, or you can use the toll-free number. Today, I'll be sharing with you how to pay your estimated taxes. The very first thing you need when you're paying your estimated taxes is you have to have your EIN. Your EIN is your employer identification number. You use the EIN at the bank when you go to open a bank account for your business. You also use that when you file 1099 miscellaneous. You never wanna have your social security number on a 1099 uh, that you're sending to employees because unfortunately we live in a society uh, where people can do bad things with that information. So here on your screen, you'll see you go to irs.gov once you have your EIN and usually when you set up the EIN, the IRS will automatically enroll you into the electronic federal tax payment system. That's what EFTPS stands for. And it's really the easiest way to pay all of your federal taxes. And usually when you enroll your business, you will receive a PIN number. And that PIN allows you to log on to the EFTPS system and make your estimated taxes. Uh, now you wanna make an estimated tax payment when you expect to owe $1,000 or more in income or self-employment taxes. So again, you go to irs.gov, just type in a little box here, there's a search box. You can type in EFTPS. And if you don't have your PIN and you have to do a new enrollment, it's going to take up to five business days to process. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this as soon as possible. And once we click on the EFTPS system, you'll see it's fairly simple from there. Once you're enrolled, you click on make a payment and you can do this through your uh, bank account. So it shouldn't be, I usually, I always say do it through your business bank account. And I'm hoping that even if you're a sole proprietor, you have a separate personal banking account and you have a bank account for your business. Now also you want to make sure that you pay your estimated taxes for the state. Uh, because we're in Illinois, I'm going to focus on Illinois. So sometimes, you, well, not sometimes, every time you have to register your business. So you do a registration for your business. And you see here it says make an individual income tax payment. This would be for those that are self-employed, maybe a, a hairdresser, you could be a barber, and you need to pay your income taxes because you know you have self-employment taxes, there's income taxes, it taxes on top of taxes. If you're an escort, you have um, you know, personal uh, replacement taxes. Illinois does have a lot of taxes. Uh, so there'll be a, if you're one of my cannabis clients, you're gonna have even excise, excise taxes. So there are a lot of taxes to pay, but you definitely want to make sure that you enroll your business. You can enroll as an individual or you can enroll as a business. When you're enrolling as a business, you want to register a new business. Now this is separate from your EIN. This is going to be your state of Illinois number. And that is how you will pay your taxes. So if you, your taxes for your business or even for yourself as an individual, uh, so if you have any questions, uh, we do offer this service where we register your accounts with the state of Illinois. Uh, and if you did one of our business entity selections, we do also register your EIN, your federal EIN, your DUNS number, uh, along with a sample of an operating agreement, depending on what package choice you selected. But we will make sure that you are ready to actually make payments uh, on your account. Because again, if you don't make these payments, you're just setting yourself up for a lot of unnecessary interests and underpayment penalties that you can avoid by just making sure that you pay your estimated taxes throughout the year, okay? So again, if you have any questions, you can contact me. My name is Trudy. 
at 855-743-5765. The best way to reach me though is on Instagram at Howard Tax Prep or on Facebook at Howard Tax Prep. That's H-O-W-A-R-D, T as in Tom, A as in Alpha, X as in X-Ray, P as in Paul, R, E as in Edward, P as in Paul. Thank you, and if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please click like and share.